Welcome to a journey that will send chills down your spine and make you question every dark corner you ever dared to ignore. We're about to explore some of the creepiest places on Earth where the line between the living and the dead gets a little too thin for comfort. First stop, the infamous Island of the Dolls in Mexico. Imagine a place where the only residents are hundreds of dolls, hanging from trees, staring at you with their lifeless eyes. No, this isn't a twisted version of Toy Story. It's the nightmare-inducing reality of Isla de las Muñecas. The story goes that a man named Don Julian Santana found a little girl who drowned under mysterious circumstances. Shortly after, he found a doll floating nearby, and out of respect or fear, he hung it on a tree. But one doll wasn't enough. Soon, the island was covered with them. Legend has it that these dolls are possessed by the spirits of dead children. They say if you listen closely, you might hear the dolls whispering to each other. And if that doesn't make you want to swim back to shore, nothing will. Next, let's take a quick flight to Japan, to the eeriest forest you'll ever step foot in, Aokigahara, also known as the Suicide Forest. Nestled at the base of Mount Fuji, this dense, quiet forest is infamous for the tragic number of people who have taken their own lives there. The silence in the forest is almost deafening as the thick trees block out all sound from the outside world. Compasses don't work here, and it's said that spirits roam freely among the trees, leading people deeper into the forest until they're hopelessly lost. Some visitors claim they've seen shadowy figures darting between the trees, and others report hearing whispers that guide them toward an uncertain fate. If you ever visit, just make sure you leave a trail of breadcrumbs, or better yet, stay close to the entrance. We're not done yet. How about a trip to the infamous Chateau de Brissac in France, also known as the Giant of the Loire Valley? This towering castle is more than just a fancy piece of real estate. It's home to the Green Lady, a ghost with a penchant for scaring guests. The story goes that the castle's owner caught his wife cheating, and in a fit of rage he murdered her and her lover. Now, she roams the halls, wearing a green dress and a face so horrifying that guests refuse to describe it. She's been known to scream so loudly that it can be heard throughout the castle. You might think twice about booking a room here, unless you enjoy a good ghostly wake-up call at 3 a.m. Speaking of castles, let's take a look at Leap Castle in Ireland. A place so soaked in blood that it's no wonder it's considered one of the most haunted castles in the world. Built in the 13th century, this castle has seen more than its fair share of gruesome events. The most famous tale is of the O'Carroll family who had a bit of a thing for murder. During a mass in the castle's chapel, one brother killed another, right there on the altar. Since then, the chapel has been known as the Bloody Chapel, and the spirit of the murdered brother is said to still haunt the place. But wait, there's more. The castle is also home to a creature known as the Elemental, a hideous beast with the stench of rotting flesh. It's said that those who encounter it are struck with an overwhelming sense of dread and despair. Fancy a visit? Just don't forget your garlic and holy water from castles to prisons. Let's swing by Eastern State Penitentiary in Philadelphia, USA. This prison was designed to induce maximum isolation, with prisoners kept in solitary confinement for years on end. It's no surprise that many of them went mad, and some believe their spirits never left. Visitors have reported hearing disembodied whispers, footsteps, and the occasional blood-curdling scream. One of the most famous spirits is that of Al Capone, who was incarcerated here for a brief time. Capone claimed he was haunted by the ghost of a man he had killed, and to this day, some say you can hear him crying out in fear from his old cell. If walls could talk, these ones would probably tell you to get out, and fast. Let's move on to the eerie catacombs of Paris, 
where the remains of over six million people are stacked neatly in the underground tunnels. The catacombs were created in the 18th century to deal with the overflowing cemeteries of Paris, and they've been a source of fascination and terror ever since. As you walk through the narrow, bone-lined passages, it's hard not to feel a shiver run down your spine. Some visitors have reported hearing whispers, footsteps, and even voices calling out their names. And if you're really unlucky, you might just see a shadowy figure lurking at the edge of your vision. Just remember, in the catacombs, you're never really alone. From the City of Light to the City of Ghosts, let's head to Pripyat, Ukraine. The ghost town left abandoned after the Chernobyl disaster. Once a bustling city, Pripyat is now a hauntingly silent reminder of the catastrophe. The decaying buildings, empty streets, and abandoned amusement park create an eerie atmosphere that's hard to shake. Some visitors claim they've seen ghostly figures in the windows of the crumbling apartment blocks and others report hearing the faint sound of children's laughter coming from the deserted playground. The most chilling part, radiation levels in some areas are still dangerously high, so you're not just risking a ghostly encounter, you're putting your health on the line too. For our final stop, let's take a quick trip to the cursed village of Kuldhara in India. Once a thriving community, Kuldhara was mysteriously abandoned overnight, and no one has lived there since. Legend has it that the village was cursed by its inhabitants as they fled, ensuring that no one would ever be able to settle there again. Today, the village lies in ruins, and visitors report a strange, oppressive atmosphere as soon as they enter. Some say they've seen shadowy figures moving among the crumbling houses, while others claim to have heard disembodied voices echoing through the empty streets. It's a place where time seems to stand still, and the past feels uncomfortably close. So there you have it, a whirlwind tour of some of the creepiest places on Earth. Whether you believe in ghosts or not, one thing's for sure. These places have a way of getting under your skin and staying with you long after you've left. If you ever find yourself near one of these locations, just remember, some doors are better left unopened, and some places are better left unexplored. Unless, of course, you like a good scare. In that case, go ahead and take a peek. Just don't be surprised if something, or someone, peeks back.